Hi guys, it's Una again. Um, I just wanted to have a quick chat with you about the work that I had set for this week. In the work package that I sent out to you, you can see it here, work uh, week starting Monday, 27th of April. Um, this wasn't part of the workbook that I sent out. It was about using a dictionary, this part of it anyway. Okay, um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about how to use dictionaries, both real ones as in books that you have there, or the dictionaries that you can get online. Okay, um, I'm gonna skip through this bit because you can read through that yourself. Um, it does say if you have a dictionary at home, you can use it or you can always Google the word to learn what it means. Try this even if you don't know the word, you'll be surprised what you learn. Um, the pictures below are from a BKSB English program, okay? And the tips that it talks about um, on how to use a dictionary. First, it says, the lesson below says to read the introduction in the dictionary. Do this if you want to, but most dictionaries work the same way, so don't worry about it too much. Um, the words in a dictionary are always in alphabetical order, okay? So go back to page 20 or 21 in the workbook if you want to use the alphabet as a reference. Um, what I want to show you today is this bit. The word that is printed at the very top left-hand corner of the page is the first word on the page. And the word that is printed at the very top right hand corner of the page is the last word on the page. So this can help you to find the word that you're looking for more quickly. So as an example, I have a picture. I'm going to move it over here so you can see it. And I will zoom it up. No, I don't want to do that. That's not zooming up. That's zooming up. OK, now uh, let me just move around a little bit so you can see it. OK, so this is a picture I took from a dictionary that we have here in the house. It's actually my old school dictionary, so it's quite old. OK, I'll zoom that up again a bit. Bear with me. OK, here we go. So what they're talking about when they say the first word on the page is on the very top left hand corner, you'll see the word desk here. OK, that's the first word on this page. And here you go. Here's desk piece of furniture with flat or sloping top for reading, writing or office work. OK, and then if you go across the page, we're on page 84, you'll see devote to devote yourself to something. Um, or to devote time to something, to spend time on something, for example. Devote is written up here. This means that devote is the last word on this page. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, get there eventually. OK, there you go. There's devote, D-E-V-O-T-E. -E. Give up exclusively, OK? Give your time or yourself or something exclusively to something else. All right? And if we look at the next page, this is just a repeat now of what we've just said. OK. Now, devotion. So this bit here at the top, you see it's not in bold, the darker writing. So this is following on from the, the end of the previous page. But the first word up here on the left hand uh, corner that is dealt with on this page is devotion. OK, there it is. Devoutness, strong affection whatever it might be, okay, devotion to, you'll hear people talking about people being, having great devotion to uh, a certain person or a certain, a religious figure or something like that. That's what that means. But up here, it gives you the first word on the page. And then across here, top of page 85, diesel. Okay, so we've moved on from the DEs, if you see DE to the DIs now for diesel, DI. And diesel should be the last word on this page, the last word that's explained on this page. So here we go. Diesel. OK, diesel engine, diesel oil. Diesel engine is an internal combustion engine in which fuel and so on on the next page. OK, so that's just a little tip on how to use the dictionary if you have a phys physical dictionary there at home. If you don't have a physical dictionary at home, you can also go online and just let me get onto that for you now. OK, you can Google if you have Internet access at all. You can Google an online dictionary. I've got the Collins online dictionary here, for example. OK, let's just click on that. OK, English dictionary. And you can literally put in any word you want. OK, so if I go back to the work package that you had, OK, it showed um, from a dictionary 
okay, where it explains the word country, okay. It's a noun, so it's the name of a place. A nation that has its own government in a specific, okay, now that's kind of difficult. So that's why I asked you to look up nation and government and specific uh, on the next page, okay. But that's just one definition of country. If I go back to our Collins Dictionary, I'm going to put in country here, okay. Oops, sorry, hit return. Country. Now, it will play it for me, but I don't know if you will hear it. Sorry, I scroll down too far there. Apologies. Okay. I don't know if you'll hear this. Okay. You may have heard that. I don't know. Country. or And the plural is countries. And it tells you what kind of word it is. It is, so a countable noun. Don't worry. Um, I just want you to look at the definition. A country is one of the political units which the world is divided into, covering a particular area of land. So there's a different definition of country. Uh, we all know Ireland is the country that we live in, okay? So it's an area of land, it has a government, it covers a specific territory. If we think about Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, they're essentially part of two different countries, even though we're joined together. Okay, it's not important that you understand exactly what the definition says, just that you get the idea. And then you can look up more words. So the other thing that I wanted to do was just to show you here, um, I asked you to look up nation, okay? Um, so let's go back into our Collins Online Dictionary and go up to the top and look at nation. Okay. There we go, N-A-T-I-O-N, and it should bring up a meaning. Okay, here we go. A nation is an individual country considered together with its social and, whoops, sorry, the joys of the internet and ads. Okay, sorry. A nation is an individual country considered together with its social and political structures. Okay, don't worry much, too much about social and political structures, but it's an individual country, a nation. You can also describe the people who live in a country as uh, its nation, okay? Um, if you're finding the words in the work package too difficult, nation, specific, government, you can also use that online dictionary to look at the words that Caroline is sending out every day for the Word a Day project. I know you're all getting texts on that. So don't be afraid to go and look up different words. If, you're, if you don't want to look up these particular words, nation, specific, government, Go ahead and look up words that you would like to know the meaning of. If you see them written down somewhere and you don't know what it means, just go ahead and look it up, okay? And that's what question two is. Make a list of words that you'd like to check the meaning of and look them up. Uh, if you can, put them into sentences, okay? And then after that, question four is going back to the workbook. Uh, I know I did have page 44 written here, so that is a mistake, which you've probably guessed. So page 34, not page 44. Okay, um, and that's this week's work. You've also on the um, writing a piece about our experience of COVID-19. So if you don't get to do this work here this week, that's absolutely fine. You can push that out till next week and uh, concentrate on your writing piece this week. So I'll hopefully be in contact with most of you this week at some stage to see how you're getting on. But I just wanted to do that in case you were confused by the, the dictionary stuff because it's not necessarily straightforward if you haven't used it before. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.